channel so I have not done one of these videos in quite some time now and I just feel like it is the perfect time to go ahead and do a anti haul slash will I buy um, springtime is going to be here very shortly along with all the springtime collections that will be released so um, we have definitely seen some previews already some of them have caught my eye um, and I do want to say that the anti haul portion I got from Kimberly Clark. I absolutely adore her. I will have her link down below as well. And then uh, Samantha March, she does the Will I Buy It series. She does that every single, I believe, Wednesday. And I love to watch all her videos. Um, I will have her link down below as well. Also, I do get most of my information from the Trend Mood website um, or Trend Mood on Instagram. I will have her link down below. Um, also. All right, so let's go ahead and dive right in. The first item on my list is going to be by ColourPop Cosmetics. They are coming out with 15 new Super Shock Shadow Shades, and they are gorgeous. I have seen the swatches on Tread Moon website. I will have them shown right here, um, or right here, either side. <laughs> and um, I am very, very intrigued. The color scheme is beautiful. However, I am more of a eyeshadow palette person so i'm not really sure if i'm going to be picking these up or not they will be released on january uh, 5th at 10 a.m pacific standard time i don't know how much their super shock shadows are i will have that listed down below i'm assuming that it's going to be the same price as the other ones but this has definitely caught my eye and i am super intrigued by this so this is a possible buy for me i definitely will not be buying all of the colors if i do purchase from this collection um, I am more so looking into the two blues and the purple that they have releasing. All right, so the next item on the list is from Stila Cosmetics. They are coming out with, I believe, five new, let's see, five new glitter and glow highlighters. Now, we all know Stila Cosmetics for their magnificent metals eyeshadow, uh, glitter eyeshadows. Those are absolutely beautiful. I use them. I think they apply very, very well. Um, when it comes to highlighters, they, it looks like they have a blue, a purple. Um, this is just definitely not going to be my cup of tea. I do not see, first of all, I don't like a liquid highlight. Second of all, these colors are definitely not colors I want to be putting on my face. I do have a more mature skin. I am a little bit older, so I do not see me putting on a blue highlighter. It, it just does not work for me. So this is definitely something I will be passing on. Let me know down below if you are interested, if you will be picking these up. The next item on the list we have from Anastasia Beverly Hills. They are releasing a mini matte lipstick set with four different shades for the price of $21. I do not think that is a bad price at all. Uh, the colors actually look quite beautiful. You have Spice Kiss, Dead Roses, and Soft Pink. If I'm not mistaken, these are already available. You can find them on Anastasia's Beverly Hills website. Um, however, I am not a huge fan of their lipsticks. The only thing that I do like lip-wise from Anastasia Beverly Hills is their lip gloss. I absolutely love their lip gloss. I actually have it on today. Today, I'm wearing Anastasia's, uh, let's see, vintage lip gloss. Uh, their lip glosses are so amazing but when it comes to their liquid lipsticks and their their matte lipsticks i am not a fan they are so dry they're very hard to apply there is nothing in that formula that i love i believe that the colors are beautiful but as far as wearability it definitely does not work for me. Moving on, the next item on the list is coming from Jouer Cosmetics. They are releasing three different blush duos. They are going to be $30 a piece. Um, each one, I believe, does come with 11 grams of product. These shades have definitely caught my eye. I think um, two out of the three palettes are gorgeous and definitely right up my alley. Um, it says for the first one, uh, it is a matte cool berry pink and a satin cool light pink. Uh, the second one is matte warm carnation pink and the, a shimmering warm light pink. And the third one, um, which definitely is my top favorite out of these, is the 
uh, let's see, it has a, it's a matte warm dusty peach and a shimmering warm pale nude peach. So you do get two different formulas in each palette, uh, one being matte, one being shimmer blush. Um, this, I'm not sure how I feel if I'm going to purchase these. I definitely don't use a shimmer blush. So that might be my main reason for not purchasing these. Um, if you guys have used Jouer blushes in the past or if you plan on purchasing that, uh, please let me know how you feel about this down in the comments. I would love to hear what you think. All right, so this is a big one. This is probably one of the releases that have caught my eye the most. It is coming from Too Faced Cosmetics. Uh, this is your new White Peaches palette. Um, they have done swatches and I am definitely intrigued. This collection um, is shimmers and mattes. It is not just a matte formula. I do have the Just Peachy Mattes and I love this palette so much. They did really, really well with it. I actually have it on my eyes today um, and it is just such a good palette. So this is definitely something I really, really want to purchase. This will be coming out, I believe they said in mid-January. Um, and if it is anything like this, then I will definitely be picking it up. So as I see more about it, definitely more swatches. Um, I will make my final decision, but as of right now, I think I might go ahead and put this on my to buy list. <laughs> so what do you guys think of this palette? Are you interested? Are you not interested? Are you just kind of over the peachy thing? And will you be purchasing this palette as well? So the next item is a new product. However, it has already been released. I believe it was released um, the day after Christmas. I was lucky enough to go ahead and try this product. There was a sample size in my Sephora. Give me some new lip favorites. I will have that video listed down below. Um, and I did try this formula out. It is the new Fenty Beauty Matte Lipsticks. I do believe they have 14 shades. Um, I really enjoyed it, the formula. I like the way that it applied. I like the way that it felt. Um, the color that I received was not my particular favorite color uh, that I like to wear. So I think I would like to try one of the maybe more of the nude shades out. Uh, so I am definitely interested in picking one of these up. They are available at Sephora and they are for $18 a piece. All right, so there are only two items left. The first one being from Morphe. I love Morphe. I do have a lot of their palettes. I have the Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, I have their 24 uh, A and B palette. I have their Fall into Frost palette, 35O, their Dare to Dream. So I definitely love their formula. I definitely love their eyeshadow palettes. This is the new 24G palette. Um, it comes with comes with 24 shades. Now, um, you are supposed to get bigger pan sizes with this palette and it is going to be available for $29. I'm not really sure if I'm digging the whole, well, you get bigger pans, so we're gonna charge you a little bit more. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Um, I kind of like a smaller portion, and more options. That's just my personal preference. However, I did see swatches of this and I'm really, really interested in it. The pinks in there um, definitely have caught my attention, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be purchasing that because other than the pinks, I'm not really sure how I feel about the other shades. Um, but this will be available January 16th and I'm going to put this on my to be determined because there are reasons I want to purchase it and there's reasons I don't. So I would love to hear from you guys. Let me know if you guys are interested in this palette. Is it something that you will be picking up? Or let me know if it's something that you will be passing on. I'm definitely interested to hear what you guys have to say about that. So last but not least, MAC is releasing a springtime collection. They are coming out with five new lipsticks, an eyeshadow palette, and a blush duo. Now, the only thing that absolutely caught my eye from this collection is the eyeshadow palette. My eyes went whoop straight to it immediately. I think the colors are gorgeous. I am so in love with this palette. And the moment I saw it, I'm like, I have to have it. That's going to be mine. Um, 
However, I have seen swatches of these, and I don't know if they're just not being swatched appropriately, um, but these swatches actually do not seem good. So I'm starting to be more on the fence than when I first saw it, and that makes me sad because the colors in the pan look really, really nice. So, um, and then you, like I said, you do get the blush duo um, in the five different lipsticks. It looks like there are going to be two satins, two mattes, and one cream sheen. This will be available in stores on July 18th. Uh, I have not seen anything about prices, so I have no idea what the prices will be. If I do find them out by the time I post this video, I will have that link down below. Um, I hope it is available. I do have a Macy's near me, and they do carry MAC, so I hope it will be available in store so I can kind of go in and see what this eyeshadow palette is really about because I really do not want to waste my money um, on something that is not going to work. Now, I do understand also that swatches do not... Um, do not show 100% how they are going to apply on the eyes. I completely, completely understand that. Um, but I have never used a MAC eyeshadow before, so that just does make me kind of nervous. It just does. I'm hoping maybe it actually will even be available on Ulta because Ulta does carry MAC products. If that's the case, I have no problem ordering it there because I will be able to return it. Um, but other than that, I will definitely have to think about that a little bit more. Hopefully I will be able to find some new swatches and maybe do comparisons. But to make this purchase will definitely to be determined. Um, I won't be getting the lipsticks. I won't be getting the duo, the eyeshadow palette. But we shall see if I do pick up the things that I am interested in. Um, you never know. Maybe I will pass over it all. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you leave. You can also hit that little notification bell. You can be notified of any videos that I have in the future. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram. I will have that link down below as well. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye. A lot of new releases coming out with the springtime collections um, definitely some of them have that next they are coming out with 15 new super was it super shock shat shadow super sock super shock shadow shades wow <laughs> first item on the list and this has kind of caught my eye is going to be the color pop cosmetics the super shock shadow The new, uh, they're coming out with 15 new shades and they're Super Shock Shadow. That is, a, <laughs> that is hard to say. Super Shock Shadow. Okay, anyways. All right, so this is a big one. This is probably one of the, one of the, um, uh, I believe they said in mid January. So as more because there are so many choices, I don't have to worry about digging into another palette.